Hey guys! This year there is a completely abnormal amount of hornets in my area. They're literally everywhere. And since a lot of interesting things are happening with them, I came up with an idea for a video. For example, we saw a hornet get caught in a web, which surprised the local spiders. They don't know whether to rejoice in their prey or run away from such a formidable insect. Clearly, the spider's first impression was, wow, what a big catch. But the hornet began to flounder in the web, so the joy clearly changed to, oh my god, he's going to tear our web here. Eventually, the dangerous insect was released from the web. It even looked to us like the hornet was hunting spiders. That's how prey and hunter change places. But strangely, there were no victims. But both the spider and the hornet are excellent hunters and are insectivores. The next hornet, however, was much less fortunate. It is not at all clear what could have caused the fight with a whole horde of ants. What could ants and a hornet have in common? The redheads chased him around the perimeter of the anthill for about 10 minutes while he buzzed indignantly. Wherever he went, he was immediately attacked by several angry ants. The stinging insect did quite well at first. The hornet ran, flapped its wings, and was generally quite active. But the formic acid is relentless. Soon it lost all its strength, kept running and fighting back, and the ants kept attacking. At one point, they even managed to drive the poor guy under a branch. After that, the outcome of the battle was decided. The hornet, having finally lost his strength, rolled down and then stopped altogether. The ants climbed onto the hornet and celebrated their victory. Yes, the world of insects is very cruel, and there are few who can live to a ripe old age. If the previous hornets were filmed in the wild, for the next experience we caught three of these giant insects at once. Two of them belong to one family, the third to another. I wonder if hornets are able to distinguish their own from other hornets by smell or other signs. Two insects from the same family are clearly friendly and do not show even minimal aggression towards each other. Well, it's time to dilute their company with a stranger. He is a bit more active, being in the aquarium. He immediately went upstairs. Other than that, he has not shown any other differences so far. It was expected that the situation would change, but to tell the truth, during the whole time of observation, which is about an hour, there were no clashes between the hornets. There was only one fragment of a fight that lasted a few seconds, but that was the end of it. After that, the insects lost interest in each other and began to spend time apart. Apparently, the dangerous hornet does not want to fight with an opponent of equal strength. Well, either all hornets have some kind of secret brotherhood and non-aggression pact. Many people know that the hornet is dangerous because when it stings, it releases toxic venom into its victim. Also, the hornet is not a bee and can sting repeatedly, but just how formidable a weapon is its sting? Let's find out. For example, can a hornet punch through a piece of paper? Let's see. But no matter how hard it tries, it still can't get through the paper. The stinger scratches the paper and that's it. In the wild, they don't interact with such dense materials. So we should give it something easier to do. What about cellophane? The hornet's results are much better. The hornet has easily penetrated this unreliable defense several times. For our next test, we head back into the wilderness. But we're not going empty-handed. We're preparing treats for the hornets. And first, the succulent flesh of the Zophobas. As you know, hornets love meat and will not refuse such a treat. 
They also love sweets, especially honey, which they steal from beehives. And what do they like more? What will they prefer? Let's find out. We put two petri dishes with treats near the place where a large number of hornets fly and began to observe. I have to say that at first the hornets just flew around looking at the treats. We even left the action camera nearby and moved away so as not to embarrass the insects. However, it ran out of power faster than anything else was happening. And when the first hornet decided to try the treat, it chose honey. It's understandable, though. You can always find insects. But honey, where you don't have to go into the hive and fight bees, is much more convenient. So, what happens when a tarantula and a hornet get together in close quarters? It will be a battle between two real titans of the insect world. The spider is dangerous because of its venom, the composition of which is similar to that of the hornet. Tarantula venom is not lethal for humans, but for invertebrates it is. It also has a paralyzing effect. Let's see what the hornet can do. There it is, by the way. Dip the insect into the tank, and the battle is officially on. The hornet immediately started flying towards the ceiling. All the while, the spider was two steps behind, just looking at the insect. Perhaps he was about to attack, but later changed his mind. This dance continued for several minutes. When the spider wasn't around, the hornet decided it was time to clean its antennae, and then he became so bold that he began to attack the tarantula himself. But there was no conflict. At one point, there was a little skirmish. It was more like they were tickling each other with their paws. The hornet went at the spider again, and to our surprise, the spider started to run away. The space of the aquarium, although closed, is quite spacious, which gives the spider and the hornet the opportunity to move on different levels without even making contact. So it was decided to change the conditions of the arena a bit. The space is now reduced to the size of a glass. Such a restriction is just right for a truly epic battle. Feeling that the situation had changed in his favor, Tarantula began to attack the hornet. He managed to grab the insect with his paws and sink his chewing teeth into its back. It seemed that the hornet's seconds of life were numbered, but the spider's bite was right on the hard chitinous shell, which even a spider could not easily chew through. The spider's attacks continued. It took every opportunity to hurt the enemy, and it did so again and again. The funny thing is that the spider always jumps from above to strike, but the hornet was too powerful to be easily defeated. Nevertheless, the stinging hairs on the spider's legs had clearly reached their target more than once as it grabbed the hornet. But the yellow and black proved to be no easy matter either. We didn't even realize it when it happened, but the hornet managed to claw the spider during one of the fights. On the tarantula's back, you can see some kind of muddy blob. Either it's from the venom sprayed by the hornet's stinger, or it's a wound. Whatever it was, it looked like the outcome of the fight had already been decided, and it wasn't the spider that made the decision. A few minutes after we noticed the fall, the spider rested. It still moved its legs, but not as actively as before. Now the hornet, satisfied with its victory, can even walk over it. This is the unexpected result of the battle between the tarantula and the hornet. That's all for now. Bye-bye!